I sometimes have this nightmare. I see dogs in cages, sad, desperate, and scared. In my dream, I can smell the fear, pain, and death. The sounds of the barking dogs pierce my ears. When I wake up, I realize I'm safe and loved. I'm Dushi, a Rhodesian Ridgeback. My mom is a dog trainer, and together we give seminars on canine body language in animal shelters. Why do people abandon their dogs? My mom says dogs are abandoned for many reasons, but one of the main reasons is communication. So, to help all my doggy friends, I'll show you some basic dog language. Oh, and I can't forget to introduce you to my silly little brother, A.S. Oh boy, was I ever that silly as a puppy? I mean, look at him. He's like a slinky with teeth. A.S. will be helping me to show you some doggy language too. Mom says I need to include him. So let's get started with the relaxed body posture. All my muscles are relaxed and I'm very comfortable. Notice how none of my body muscles are twitching. A close-up on my face shows that I'm feeling tired, but a little bothered by the camera. This is me and Ias showing some playful body language. Notice how our bodies are relaxed but attentive. Yes, it's like a horror scene in a movie, running past the camera so you can barely see it. A dog that rolls onto his back does not necessarily mean he's being submissive. Here I am rolling onto my back while playing with Ias. Notice how my tail is straight out and not tucked onto my belly. Also notice that I'm play fighting back even though I'm on my back. A dog being submissive would try to avoid all contact. Just so no one gets confused, I'm the boss in this family. Well, the boss among the dogs anyway. Nothing gets me more alert than a squirrel. Oh look, a squirrel. Just look at it with its fluffy tail. It looks so juicy. I heard they taste like chicken. I haven't caught one yet, but one day I will. No dog likes to be bothered when chewing a bone. I tend to stop chewing and move my face away from her hands when mom gets too close to my mouth. And when it's too much, I run away. If you follow and continue to bother a dog chewing his bone, he might bite. We are like your children and get upset if you take something away from us. So offer us something in its place if you really need to take it away. General handling. Aos doesn't like when someone touches his head. Notice how he always subtly moves his head down whenever mom touches it. Notice how I tolerate my head being touched, but I too try to move away. I'm asking mom to pet me somewhere else. In general, dogs don't like to be pet on their head. Look at my face and how discontent I am to have my legs and feet touched. Again, I tolerate it, but I'm subtly telling mom I don't like it. Ugh, she's touching and grabbing my face. I hate that so much. I 
I'm starting to get really stressed now. Notice that I'm yawning. This is an advanced sign of stress. Now to try to get away from this stress, I look for an exit which I see between mom's legs. Mom is petting my bum. I love when mom pets my bum. Look how my head goes up and my muscles relax. My face is soft and happy now. Dogs in general hate to be physically confined. In other words, we hate to be hugged. I don't know this dog, but notice how he first tries to lick the lady to get out of the hug, but since she insists, the dog now tries to move away. This dog is not happy about the hug. I sometimes use my voice to get what I want. I love bubbles, and I want mom to play with me. Dogs need lots of exercise. I personally love lure coursing. I know it's just a plastic bag, but it's so much fun to chase. I like to help dad bring the line around the pulleys after every run. I'm just helpful like that. Not all dogs like the same activities, so it's important to find the activity your dog likes best. It could be simply throwing the ball. A.S. doesn't like lure coursing, but he loves to chase the laser pointer. Mom always says, a tired dog is a good dog. <laughs>